We must respect these people. Um, in, you know, I just, how I many of you are not charismatic, members, just lift up your hands. Yeah, you people here, you have pastors in your church. You respect your pastor, you stand with your pastor, you support your pastor. A, a pastor, if you don't support that pastor, it's not your pastor. If you don't support your pastor, if you don't stand with your pastor, if people are still criticizing your pastor, if you are there, you listen. And I, I had one lady here who left the job because people are criticizing me. But we are criticizing now. Is she around here? Is you? Yes. This lady. Look at this lady. People, this lady. People are criticizing Makaranisa where she's working. She resigned the work. Many of you cannot do that. Many of you cannot do what she did. So the moment you hear people, you can see that. Okay. The moment you hear people talking against your pastor, and you are there, that they are fighting your faith. Remember, your faith produces your life. They are fighting. These are the enemies of your life. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because out of your pastor, you receive a word. So now, they will make sure that you don't take serious what your pastor is saying. And from there, how can you call from how can you call to your destiny out of your pastor? Let's bring this pastor here Clap hands for them. Clap hands. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So the moment you hear somebody say, your pastor, your pastor, your pastor, ask your pastor, what about your pastor? You can ask that kind of a question very fast. Can you tell me about who's your pastor? If you hear somebody, because that person is attacking what God wants to do through your pastor. And now, you are the one now who can ask, uh, can you tell me the name of your pastor? Alright, can you talk about your pastor? I will talk about my pastor. Because a person cannot talk about a person you are always listening. So your pastor is your parent. So a person is criticizing your parent and yourself, you know your parents better. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. So this is the time where the moment you hear that, you say, hey, 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 you, can, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. So this person is trying to lure you there where you have to fight a person that will teach you to grow. I was sometimes shocked to, to, to be surprised you, you believe a member than your pastor. You find that you are, you are believing your brother than your parents. Or you, you believe your sister than your parents. If you are here, my advice to you is a church is not gathering of people. It's the body of Jesus Christ. So now, it is not determined by the number of the people. How many people you have in the church? I'm a big man of God because I've got thousands. No. no, the biggest church in South Africa is not Christianity. You know, there's one man here in South Africa can tell us that you people here are, are, are anointed better than you. You've got many people. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You've got many people, many people millions of members. He can tell you that, you say what? You, you say what? You, what are, you are you anointed better than me? He can tell you. If we are talking about the number, I don't know if you like no more. So let, let's go back to a point where we support our pastors. You do it. You, you make it like obligation. These people here, their position 
is a paining position. Because they fight your battle and their battle. I'm sure you understand that. And Amen. If you reach that level, you can pray for them. Intercede for them. You write everything they are telling you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. If you know, this, the last thing that I can tell you about these people is, because I talk too much, I, I want to tell you about it, is the moment you hear someone criticizing you, your, your pastor, criticizing your pastor, just know that person might be fighting your destiny. Maybe you are supposed to be called to be a prophet out of that person. That person is disconnecting you. Maybe you are supposed to be a business person who will support the vision of the person. I'm sure that's what I'm saying. That person is fighting that. So, pastors, uh, I'm speaking with your children here. And I want to pray with you, believing that God will raise pillars that will stand with you on your vision. And whoever fights your ministry will fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say will fall in the name of Jesus. Whoever fight the church of the living God will join that church. You see what happened to Saul? He joined Christians. If you are fighting Makananisa, you will join Makananisa. If you are fighting these pastors, you will join them. Uh, there are many who are here who say they will never come here. Is it true? Today you are here. So you will be sick. No pastor will heal you. And you find that you are supposed to be healed through me. And you find that you are going around there. Whoever speak against you, let that person be sick and come to you and ask for healing. And you will heal that person. Our God is very good. Amen. Who want anointing here? Let me get one. You wanna, let me take it. You're blessed. Let me touch your chest. Let me do like this to you. Let me do like this to you. Be anointed. Where is your church, sir? Eh? Receive. Receive. Someone is receiving anointing to speak things that were not unto existence. Go. After this, you people check your ministry. People will question where do you come from? Tell them that I'm from Jesus. I'm from where? Be anointed. You are anointed. Another one. Come on. And if you see people like this, you see his fat like this. I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. If you see a man like this and he's not a boy, do you like this? You must in your heart when you are sitting, pray. You know, I've been praying with pastors. You people, you are playing. You are just looking at them for and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> It's like you are, you are balancing, you are ushering these pastors by your mouth. You just, ah. 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 And sometimes when the pastor falls in a bed, he says, oh! Amen. From nowhere. I mean, when you are sitting here, when you see pastors be like this, in your, oh, thank you, thank you, pray. Begin to pray. It's not simple. Begin to pray because it's not all about Makaranisa. It's all about Jesus. <laughs> You're free. <laughs> yeah, you are free. Come. <laughs> Thank you.
You're free. Hey, when I come, another one. You're free, sir. You are not in touch. You can see this man. You can see. This man can carry you. You can see this man. You can see this man, the way he is running. You can see that this is prophetic speed. Be anointed. Another one. You see this woman wearing white hair. You are anointed. You see? Ha! <laughs> ah, you people, you usher people like this, they will be injured. How can you do like this? Like, you play netball, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You see this man? I'm afraid to pray for these people now. You're a pastor. You're free. Come on. You're free. Some people here, I don't know if. People they don't fall, these people, and when they come here, they fall. They, you don't fall, you. I hear that you have never fallen, but today you are just doing like this. So come, sir. God loves you. You are anointed in Jesus' name. You are free. Another one. You are free. Another one. Another one. Come on. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. This man, God will use him also. Another one? Another one? Another one? Another one? 
Come on. Hey, we're not. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Another one? Another one? Come on. Come on, wait. Come on. Hey. Paruti Lina. Put it with us all. Like, that's slow motion. And then, next, 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 fast, fast. And then, you are all anointed. I will show you why I say that. You understand? Because this year the enemy must fall. You know, I saw among you some people need deliverance. You understand? And then sometimes I want to touch you because people will question why you have this when you're a pastor. They don't understand that you have this because of the people that are coming to you. Your, your, your assignment is very big, so you're supposed to face this. And uh, if we touch you and the demon hide and come out when you're going out here, it's for the glory of God. Because, look here, some people, they don't understand what your battle you are facing, the battle you are facing. Sometimes, the attack you are facing is so big that you even question yourself, am I really call on this or what? Or I'm trying. And then, you realize later that if you carry on with this courage, carry on, you can make it. Sometimes Satan can even kill people around you. You ask yourself, think about a member die, a member, or a family member die, and yourself you are praying. You even ask yourself, ah, if really I'm called, why this? Or people you love die. You ask yourself, ah, is it real, this thing that is happening to me? You, like you, Ceci? Yes. There's a demon on you, but this demon, like, come, come here. When I was praying for you here, I realized you just need deliverance, you will make it. deliverance After this delivery, you, you are going to make it. This demon is tying you and is closing your eyes so that you must not see what you are praying for. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. Because you, yourself, you know you don't have a demon. Because Amen. nobody has ever told you you have a demon. You see a person like me telling you and say, there's a demon on you. It means it's true. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. If you, you come to a church like this, you see me say, there's a demon on you. I'm telling you the truth. If you hear people say you are blessed and you are not blessed, and they can't see this demon that is stopping you, you just be going to church. You want to see this. Nothing happens. You don't even understand your calling. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. So it goes to a point where you say, ah, I'm a pastor. So where are you pastoring? Uh, extension 23. Where? Galfantine. Galfantine. Yes. You don't know you have a demon, eh? I don't know. I don't know. That's the issue. There are some parts in us we don't know about. We need, we need some people to tell us. About. And after this, that's where now, when you do ministry, you will have joy. Because you don't have joy about your ministry. of what you are doing there. No progress. Come and go. Come and go. Let me touch your ear. Let me touch your ear. Leave it. Ouch! Ouch! 
leave my sister. You can see the demon hiding for many years. Demon knowing that this lady can be something. What are you doing there? What are you doing in a ministry? Speak, you demon. I just want to block him. Huh? Just want to block her. Why do you want to block her? Why? Why Tell, me. Her. People. Tell me the reason she why you are. deliver the people by the name right. of Jesus. I want to block her. I want to block her everything. This is what I'm telling you. That if a person like me say you have a demon, I want to block her everything. This is what I'm telling you. Even if you don't believe it, this demon must cast it out. So you know she's a great woman. Huh? Yes, she's, she's, she's a great woman of God. She will travel around the world. So I want to block her because she is very rich. I blocked her to get married. You even block her not to marry? Yes. Ah, this demon is funny. So, were you aware she's going to come here? No. It was so, urgent. No, but you know by agent. It was fast. Yes, it was fast because it was he agreed. very fast. He did the money today. <laughs> Who came with her? You don't know. Her. You came with her, come. Because I want you to understand that. You know her? How do you know her? She's my pastor. She's your pastor. Yes. So you are surprised because of this. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. Your pastor, this is your demon. It's not the demon of the pastor. As a demon it's your demon. So you must know that this is the demon of you. Because this demon knows that your pastor Yet can make you blessed. So that demon won't fight you, will fight the pastor. So don't ever think your pastor had a demon. Because this pastor is having your demon. So because many times you find, ah, you see, now, my pastor, even ourselves, we've got demon. Can't you see your demon that is fighting the pastor? Because this pastor now, if she's delivered from this demon, if you, you'll be something that God wants you to be. So, what are you doing there? You are blocking her. Huh? Yes, I blocked her because she's going too far. She's going old. too far. She's going old. too far. <laughs> she's still so young, but she's, she's very intelligent. And God, God to use her. And I don't want God to use her. <laughs> So today, who are you? <laughs> she is anointed. Who are you who's attacking the people? The people are getting the deliverance because huh? of her. You say what? <laughs> we put our thing in the people and she take them out. <laughs> we we want, want to, to kill her. her. <laughs> you, you, you put things on people. <laughs> yes. Yes. So she's removing those things. Yes. She delivered the people. We are even crying. Even the next door neighbors. The, the, the fire. The fire. He's getting in the, the next door neighbors. We don't even get in the neighbors because of her. So today, who are you? Who are you speaking? I'm coming in the water. I'm coming from the water. This is a demon. You are coming from the water. Which, yes. which side? Yes. Which water? Yes. Which water? Yes. Which water are you coming from? I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Oh, you don't know which water. I can't oh, take it. Let me touch the ear again. You will tell me. Which water? I'm a female. Answer me. Petule. Hey, from the sea. From the sea. The a big water. The water. There is a water in a big water. See, the sea in the in Cape Town. Yes, I'm coming from Cape Town because he fall, he fall, she fall our, our kingdom. So who are you? Come Come from Cape Cape Town. Town. I am the demon from the devil. So you find the people who are called. Huh? Yes, I want to block her. Look, she will, she, she will be very, very, very. She's going to. to she will travel and she, she will even go to America. 
the America like Qatar. So today is your and last day. And I can't allow her. Huh? I said to men. I can't allow her to go there. She will travel. She so, will travel. So leave her. She will travel. So in like. Jesus' name. Amen. You are defeated. Come on, you demon. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Rise up. You are free. I'm sure she'll be very much surprised. Stand up, my sister. Amen, lasses. What is happening? Stop there. Dear lasses. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I you can don't see. know, eh? Yes. But you, were you aware there's a demon on you? No. No. Yes, sir. Do you know this woman? What's this? Yes. Huh? Yes. How do you know? It's my daughter in the spirit. Daughter in the spirit. Listen. This demon that has entered here. It's not for you. This demon is for these people. So for you to be delivered today is to deliver many. Amen. Amen. God is opening your eyes to take it. Take your job. You have been searching for him. Take your business. You have been searching for him. Take what you have been crying for. You have been searching for him. God is honoring you. I'm not dying there. I'm not dying in poverty. I'm not dying in lack. I'm not dying in stripes. I'm reaching my destiny. There's a place I'm seeing where God is taking me. Can I prophesy somewhere? You are going somewhere. Are you seeing a place where other people cannot see? It's where God is taking you.